Hey guys, Hinduka here. As you can see, Final Fantasy XV demo is finally in my hands. I cannot wait to play it with you guys. I can so we're just gonna we're just gonna jump right in. somebody hadn't wrecked the car God, unbelievable oh I would hate to be that guy <laughs> oh come on don't be that way you know I didn't mean to do it of course not sabotage is far beyond you It's futile. Rise and shine, princess. Tremors. Now you did it. Just call me Titan. <clears throat> Morning there, buddy. Eyes open. And he's up. Not technically up. Not technically having our automobile repaired and heading to Corsus, then? No turning back now, your highness. Mm. Gotta pay his enormousness a visit. Yeah. Wonder what it's like outside. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Couldn't ask for better weather. Ah, good day for walking. Aren't we lucky? And the sunlight. Wow. Look, this game just... It looks good. It looks good. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Well short of the amount due, I'm afraid. We need to think bigger, like behemoth big. Hunting down its horns could get us the money, if it doesn't get us killed. Wouldn't worry. We're as good as dead without the car anyway. <laughs> Might already be a lost cause. Hey, if Cindy says she can fix it, that's good enough for me. And since she's gone to all the trouble of servicing it nearby, we need only concern ourselves with one thing and one thing alone. The money. Simple enough. We hawk whatever we hunt till we come up with the cash, then fetch the car. Alright, so, so far guys, I'm sort of liking this gang. And as you can tell, it's definitely a more modern Final Fantasy than the previous ones. Cell phones and cars and such. And, I mean, style of dress too, I mean. Just all a little bit modern. So you look around with the right stick like every game ever. And you move with the left stick like every game ever. And now we're just gonna move towards this sign. Look at their their hair bobs when you walk. That's that's really cool. The character models seem really good in this game. Like the way they move and stuff. I'm what? sort of like it. Oh wow. Do you guys see what I see? Hmm. Yeah. A sign. Yep. Totally see it. Every single one of us has red heels on our boots. Very interesting. Running through these bushes. Going yeah. to see what Prompto saw. Yep, I know the characters' names. Dread Behemoth Deadeye sighted in nearby woods. Enter at your own risk. 25,000 gil reward. Alright, looks like we know what we're doing. Hold up a sec. Huh? Uh, yes, I'd like to train in combat. 
not really exactly sure how this goes. I know it's not. I, I know it's live action. Just don't get too carried away. Show more to talk. Attacking and defending. There are two modes of combat. Attack and defense. First, you will learn how to defend yourself. That's nice. While defending, you will dodge all incoming attacks. Dodge costs MP. Put up your defenses to dodge Gladio's strike. Strike. Yep. Alright, L1 is dodge. So... Okay. Keep your defenses up and continue to dodge his strikes. Just hold it. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Whoop. Oh, oh. C come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can't... Oh! You can't hit me. Can't stop now. Oh! Outstanding, Highness. Ho ho! Guess what? Oh! So yeah, this game really does. It looks good. I gotta get. I gotta give that to Square Enix. It looks good. It it feels good too. Like walking around and stuff. This feels good. Noctis conjures a variety of weapons when attack. Nice, nice. Weapons will materialize in his hands as he strikes. Hold up and down for continuous strikes. Launch an attack on Gladio. Can do. All right. So it, it's square. It seems. Attack, and it seems as though he can summon different weapons depending on the direction. Ooh, pay close attention in battle. Knowing when to defend is key. Now take on Gladio. Whoa! 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 Ha ha! Now, whoop. Nope, I almost died there. But I didn't. Alright, next part. Warping and techniques. Noctis can perform various feats by spending MP. Noctis can warp to a location by throwing his sword. Oh, I've seen this. Try warping to the steel tower. And man, that is, that is cool. Warping to high ground quickly restores HP and MP. So, I looked this game up a lot before I got my hands on it. It it feels really good. It feels really good. It, it looks good. It, it's smooth. It feels smooth, too. So, sort of like a lock-on. Techniques are shown at the bottom left. Techniques are made available by weapons. By weapons. All right. So let's just sort of, whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Just gonna use, oh, oh, that totally missed it. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna drain blade. Drain blade, and cool. He totally attacked us, though. All right, when Noctis exhausts all his a MP, MP, not HP, he will fall into stasis. In this state, Noctis cannot warp, dodge, or perform any actions that require MP. All right, you will gradually recover MP over time, but taking cover is a faster way to get it. All right. Nice. Full health already. MP is going up. All right, manage your MP wisely. You know what? I'm just going to un... And then I'm going to warp up here, because they said that this totally... Oh, yes. Okay. Now we're just going to warp strike Gladio and uh, take him on. And I was holding L1, but it, it's okay. Alright, what's next? What is next? Parrying. Alright, you can parry an oncoming attack by reacting to the marker. Defend with L1 and then parry when the time is right. Okay, nice. And backslash. Backslash! Nice. Practice parrying some attacks. So, here he comes. And parry. Okay, so it totally tells you when to parry, so that's pretty helpful. Pretty helpful indeed. Oh, 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 parry. And backslash. Okay, so this feels really nice. Definitely feels nice. Come at me and parry again. So... Noctis is quite quite the uh, opponent to face. Play as. Oh, well, sorry. Different weapon types, it seems. Uh, crush, Ravage, Vanquish, Counter, Descent. Alright. 
You can arm weapons from tactical menu, set your ravage slot to the Zwinghandler. Whatever that is. Alright, so let's go to weapons and Ravage. So it wants me to send this to the Ravage, which is the Blood Sword right now. There we go. Alright. Alright, so and I'll use touch a blade. This one's just for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, I seriously, okay. So it taught me to switch my weapons, but oh, concludes. Okay. So we're done with the combat tutorial. It felt pretty nice. Oh, we're not done. Okay, what's next? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna face him. Whoa, buddy. Oh, that's to jump. And when you're. Alright, so always jump, and when you're defending, you'd like do a mini teleport. I. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Just warp, and then. Sad. Okay. All right, stasis. That ain't good. That is not good at all. Let's just run, run away, and take cover. Oh, whoa! Not right next to him. Seems as though I have. Whoa. Nope. No MP left. All right. Let's keep running. Keep. Un unlock. Alright, sorry for locking on, guys. Just take some cover. Till I get enough to teleport. Which I have enough. And then I seriously regain it super fast. So we're just gonna lock on again. <clears throat> wait for our MP to completely reload. And you're not gonna do anything in time, Gladio. Not in time. Not at all. So now, here we go. Boom. Oh, all right. So that seemed pretty dangerous of a move. But his health is almost depleted. Here we go. Seems like last strike. There we go. And now, when your ally's in danger, you can rescue them. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's rescue Gladio. He's good, buddy. Got you. Here we are, guys. Oh. All right. All right. Sounds nice. Well done. You can spar again later at camp. Now it's time to track Behemoth. All right. Yep. Already told us that. Well, it's not far from here. Oh. Oh wow. Well, guys. So now we're going to the Dead Eyes Den. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Me in this amazing looking game and we will be back soon i will be back with a new episode till then leave a like subscribe keep it classy and stay awesome